actually be somewhere with space. <laughs> I don't know why they keep it. It's falling apart. Well, it would be a listed building, so it would probably cost more to do up than to just leave it like this. <laughs> you are such a grown up. Imagine them all in here. Rock it. Can you do any tricks? I'll show you on one condition. Come traveling with me, Oh, come on. No. Why not? I'm not going traveling with you. We don't you. have to go far. We can go wherever you want. I'm not going traveling with you. I don't even know you. What do you want to know? I'm not doing this, Tristan. Seriously, I mean, my, my course, my relationship, my work, I'm not... Ugh, don't be so practical. Be romantic. That's not romantic. That's insane. And besides, you'd be doing exactly what you're already doing just with some company. So if anything, you're the one being practical. I think your parents would like me. Oh. <laughs> Do they like him? Piss off. I bet they don't. I bet he's older. Is he older? I Stop it. I'm not doing this. Just, okay, tell me he's not like your teacher or something. I just, stop. Tell me it's not that. It's not. He never taught me. <laughs> the reason I don't care at all about what you may think is because I know exactly what you think and I also know it's not true. Boring anyway. Let's get back to what you want to know about me. Nothing. Seriously. Nothing? No, I do. I, I, I find you very interesting. I just... I don't... I, I feel weird is all. I don't feel like I would feel in the real world. This is the real world. Okay, when is it real? No, I... I mean, like, the drugs. The doctor said that the antidepressant was designed to stimulate certain dopamines, which is the same chemical rush that you get when something really exciting happens, or when you... Well, it's chemical. It is fake. But it feels like falling for someone. So? So forgive me if I take everything you say with a grain of salt. So what, you think I don't like you properly because... I think it's a definite possibility. <sighs> Bullshit. I can tell the difference between who I am and a side effect. No, with all due respect, Tristan, no, you most definitely do not. So you're saying any attraction whatsoever is, is, is a result of the trial? Part of it could be. You must be saying that based on you know, feeling some sort of attraction. Then. I never said that. I'm just saying it's chemical. It's a chemical reaction, that's all. But I'm still me. No. I mean, yeah, you mean you're you, but you're under the influence of something. Like if you came up to me and said that you were in love with me and I was your best friend while you were stumbling drunk, I still wouldn't believe you then either. Why not? I mean, men say that kind of stuff all the time. They just don't say it when they're sober. Yeah, well, then they, they will have known the person for ages. If you, if, you, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm telling you what the doctor told me. Oh. And what does she know? Come on, they don't know anything. Knowledge is, knowledge is a myth. <laughs> okay. They wouldn't be trialing if they knew everything, would they? Look, I once had chronic diarrhea for six days straight. No one predicted that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they tell you all kinds of things. They tell you, you have to, to give in your phone because it interferes with the equipment. You do have to turn in your phone because it interferes Jesus. with the equipment. Do you want a phone? I can get you one. So you have to make a phone call. Get your phone back, put the SIM in that one. Interferes with the equipment. It's like they, they, they say that on planes, you know? It's just, it's hard to control a group of people if they all have their phones. Anytime you're in a situation where someone says you should turn off your phone or, or give in your phone, you should be worried that you're gonna die. <laughs> not interfere with the fucking equipment. Can I really have this? Yeah. I mean, I usually sell them, but my own shit. I like it, it's like the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> You don't actually think that, right? Like, that I only like you because I'm high or, or something? I mean, everything we do is just about what's pumping around inside of us, right? It's a cold way of looking at a person. Why? We are our bodies, our bodies are us. There isn't anything more, and that's okay, because that's enough. I mean, the world is just, just like incredible, amazing, beautiful thing, even though we know that there's no God behind it. It's even more amazing because of it, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We we know there's no God behind it. Yeah, I mean, when you... Really? What? You believe in God. What? It's okay. 
You look disappointed. No. God, isn't that terrible when you meet someone and you... When you meet someone and you... Get along, you assume things about them. I knew it. You're disappointed that I believe in God because you like me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Let's say, let's say you're right. Let's say we're attracted to each other because we are. You just admitted it. You can't take it back now. Let's say that we're attracted to each other and it was kicked off by these... The dopamine. ...drugs or whatever. So what? What do you mean? I mean, what difference does it make? Clearly, it's something to be wary of. It is what it is. I mean, it doesn't matter why. It's all that matters. Why? It's because it's the reason. So? I can't work out if you understand something that I don't or I understand something that you don't. People meet and fall in love in all kinds of ways, right? Like, it, it, it doesn't matter what starts it. You know, I'm sure there's some kind of, some rush or, or chemical something if you, if you meet on vacation or on a bus with a bomb on it. It doesn't mean that Keanu and Sandra aren't really in love. <laughs> speed? <laughs> You're giving me speed? I couldn't think of a recent film. Say film again. It's a bit like speed, you know, actually this feeling, you know, the, the taste in your throat and the... I wouldn't know. But you think it's fake. So what, you think years from now, Keanu and Sandra are just sitting in a cafe somewhere looking at each other going, why am I with this loser? All we had in common was a bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, I do. <laughs> I like you, that. Do you know why? Because it's sexy. No, like actually, why? It's a sign of submission. What? Laughing is a way to show submission. That's why men like it when women laugh. It proves that they're dominant. What the fuck? You laugh when something's funny. No, you don't. You don't laugh out loud when you're watching a sitcom alone yeah. at home. Yes, you do. No, you don't. It's a social cue. It says like, hey, I'm funny, I'm clever, I get the joke. Or you use it to show that you're attracted to someone. You know, and you throw your head back and expose the throat. <laughs> you laugh at someone else. You know, it's not all about you. Look, I take drugs, right? There's not, there's not a drug in the world that can make you look at someone and, and find them attractive, or listen to them and find them interesting, there is or now. smell them and no. Well, that's just the pheromones, isn't it? Is there no mystery for you? Yes, there is. It's just, it's more than smelling. It takes work. You don't really believe that. Right? What? About love and that. I just think it comes and it goes. You know, it may last maybe long enough to raise a child, but then, you know, it's like, all the time, all the times that I've actu actually really loved someone, they've written, I love you, to me, in the sand, or in the snow, like while we were on vacation. And it's, it's wonderful. It really is. But then, the next time, that, or the next someone, even, and they do it, you just think, oh, okay, this, again, <laughs> and just for it to be washed away or to melt. Some people never get love like that. <sighs> I know. If, if I did that for you, I would uh, hold the sea back from ever coming in. Your sunshine, you know that? I bet you thought that the, the dry cleaning business was a great success because of your awesome business plan. Of course it was. <sighs> so you do drugs on the proper ones? Sometimes, yeah. You? 
No. No, I just... I think of drugs as, like, cigarettes or cheese. Like, if you haven't already gotten into them, don't get into them, because they're bad for you, so eventually you're just gonna have to quit. It's about trying something new. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, not everything is only new once. Well, everything has to be new once. Yeah, but then it becomes like anything else. I mean, essentially, it's just a way of distracting yourself. From what? From the inevitable fact that you and everyone you love are definitely gonna die. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'm distracting myself you from that. You just think to Good. yourself, like, oh, maybe this thing will make me happy. No, not that one. Maybe that thing. Hmm? Not that either. It's like, why are you going traveling? See things. You know, meet people. Have my mind expanded. Cool, bro. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, I mean, like, you'll travel different countries and you'll talk to people with flags sewn on their backpacks about traveler things and you'll get stoned and be like, hey, man, do you ever think that the red I see and the red that you see aren't actually the same red? Wow. Please. <laughs> I mean, it's like, look, look, look at the, look at this, look at this square yard. Look, I mean, there's a whole world right here. It's just about what you actually notice. I mean, look at the floor. Tiles. Different colors. Used to be. And tiny tiles. A mosaic. It seems weird. <laughs> Why would they put a mosaic on the floor of a mental asylum? Maybe it wasn't a mental asylum, it was built. Or... But that's just my point. Look. And what's standing, what's, what's right in front of you. You don't need to travel to a different country every day. That would work. That would work. Except for one thing. What? You wouldn't be in here right now if it wasn't for me. Come traveling with me. I... I, no, I'm not going traveling with you. I don't even know you. How do you know anyone? When you've talked to them, when you trust them, I... Tr you came into a mental asylum with me, alone at night. You trust me. Look, I'm going to the fucking Taj Mahal. One of the wonders of the world. The single greatest testament to love ever built. Got that in your uh, square yard? Why don't you do your trick? I could, actually. Go ahead. I want to see it. Oh, do you? I do. I might go outside of your square yard. Is that okay? That's fine. Go, please. I was a regional champ in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Ah, there you are. 